drone bait is underused by most carp anglers. Fantastic bait, excellent carrier for corn steep liquor, any liquid attractants really, um, hemp, you can use pellets, sweet corn, uh, with a fish meal base, extremely high leakage, very attractive to fish, can bring them on bait very quickly as opposed to boilies. Fantastic bait boilies, but not instant high attract like ground bait. Fish with worms, sweet corn, bread, over the top, absolutely devastating. Um, I think I'm now going to be going to throw a, ball, a few balls in to build the swim up. Right, this is a likely looking spot between the pads and the overhanging bush. The carp will be more than happy to cruise through there. Let's see if we can get some going. Hi, my name's Rob Nunn, consultant for JRC Tackle. We're currently fishing an extremely mature mill pool dug 400 years ago by hand in the heart of rural Suffolk. It's overgrown with lily pads, weed, silt, overhanging trees and everything a carp angler could want. I've uh, baited a couple of likely looking swims down to my right and if we creep down we might be able to bag one. Let's go and have a look. And over to my right the fish are already bubbling and um, quite heavily on the feed by the look of it. I'm going to start off with worm and I'll just take this uh, moment to mention that I'm using a uh, new rod from Shakespeare called the Mac 2. Two pound test curve, fantastic rod for light stalking, barbel fishing, bream, anything that suits a slightly more powerful rod but still with the forgiveness for medium to large size fish. I'm also using a Abu Cardinal free sport reel. Fantastically smooth, clutch is excellent and all will be available shortly. Right, back to the fishing. As you can see I'm tucked away in the bushes. Hopefully a few carp down to my right here. Uh, I'm going to start with worm and see what we can get. What carp could possibly resist that? Right, I'm now gently going to get up as not to spook the carp and hopefully flick it on the bubbles first time. Maybe second time. Absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to creep back into my uh, hiding position. Set the rod down and hopefully there's a carp there waiting. Really good areas of bubbles coming up alongside the float now. Would normally mean a bite is imminent. The pads are knocking. Oh, just had a very strong line bite. You get that a lot with float fishing, you have to learn to distinguish between a line bite and a real bite. I'll take this uh, opportunity to point out that you must make sure your clutch is set correctly. Visually seeing the carp coming into the swim, digging the bottom up, generally grubbling around for any food that's down there. Another nice clump of bubbles coming up behind the float now, pads are still knocking. By placing my bait just the other side of them pads, the, the carp should feel perfectly safe to feed there. The likelihood of a bait being presented there before is very unlikely, so they shouldn't be wary. The difference could be this side of the pads, they may not move on to the bed of bait. Just missed a bite there. Schoolboy error. Rebate and try again. There was no uh, disruption in the swim, so hopefully it wouldn't have cost me a fish. But the amount of fish that were there, I didn't pick up an instant take. Sometimes it's well worth changing the bait. I'm actually going to try a bit of bread flake. Very underrated, very underused. Just nip it on nice and tight, it will soften well enough for the hook to fly out. Nice and heavy for casting as well. Not too aerodynamic. Might take a couple of casts just to get it there. Nope, spot on first time. The 
carp up here, it'd be quite happily moving between the pads and the sunken tree to my right. The carp in this lake spend an awful lot of time underneath the lily pads. I don't pick up a fish here within a couple of minutes, you can always switch and change. It does pay to bait up several spots to give the carp an opportunity to rove around freely picking up the feed, which will more often than not make life easier to pick one up. Some bigger fish moving through the swim again, lily pads are banging, bubbles around the float. The carp just broken the surface in the overhanging bush to the right. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds, but then I shall check my bait. Perhaps try a bit of sweet corn, just go through a, a few different baits, just to see which part of the feed that I've put on the bottom their preferences. As you can see, the shot is all loaded towards the, the bottom. That will lay on the bottom. And as the fish picks it up, that will lift. Thus the float will lift at the surface. Very effective method. What I'm going to do is just shorten this, just in case I'm getting pickups and they're not registering too easily. If you shorten the distance, it's closer to the hook, which should give you more indication on the float. With this method, it's not necessary uh, to plumb the depth, as long as you're fishing over depth. You cock the float with the tension on the line. Just enough sweet corn to mask the hook. Just like that, leaving the hook point proud. Just gently flick this back out. That'll do nicely. Right, fantastic. Hook one on the float. Fighting hard, just trying to keep out of the pads and the weed. It's trying really hard to get into them pads. It's not a big fish, but it's fighting hard. Nice common, fantastic. That's what it's all about. Fairly light rod, but fantastic for hit and hold tactics. Sort of tip to middle, almost through action. Two pound test curve, fantastic rod for this type of fishing. Here she comes, trying to get into the weed. Almost ready for the net. Fish is almost ready on the top. Here he comes. This is, he's beat, never got to the pad, so. And that's the way to do it. One on the float. Fantastic. Transfer him to the mat, unhook him, get him back. Right, this is the fruits of uh, float fishing. Fantastic fight, fin perfect fish. And um, if you get your bum off the bed chair, this is what you can achieve. Um, loads of aspects to stalking, float stalking, floater fishing. Um, this is what you can achieve. Fantastic fish. Um, I think we better get him back in the water. Job done.